All right, guys, good morning. So, we got into Clayton, Georgia kind of late last night, right at about sunset. I was originally going to sleep up at uh, my spot up at Sarah's Creek, but the whole uh, Sarah's Creek campground was gated off. Um, there are a lot of down trees everywhere, um, down power lines. Everything was cleared off the roads, but you can tell they are still working on it. Clayton had power, but no internet. It was pretty much cash only everywhere. And um, so then I headed down to Earl's Ford, because there's a bunch of camp spots right there. But the bridge is washed out. I'll show you footage of uh, Earl's Ford. Um, that's not going to be um, a trail you can run anytime soon. That was completely washed out. I assume uh, Sarah's Creek all the way up to the top is going to be pretty bad. I eventually did find somewhere to camp. Venture Unknown did sweep up the southeast last year. And this is kind of nearby where we camped for that. I got a nice little water crossing behind me. Uh, got a little bit of rain last night, but the creek drowned it out. Slept pretty good. So we're going to go see the other side, see what Charlie's Creek looks like, and um, go from there. Alright guys, so I saw a bunch of power lines down on the road, but they had like ropes on them, like they were being moved around. And um, I backtracked to the fire station right here and I was like, hey, there's no, you guys got power lines down in the road and there's no signs or nothing. And they said, no, they're, they're not active lines. We got ropes on them. Um, the road's not closed, just drive safely across them. There's no worries about it, so. That's what we did. If anyone starts freaking out, they're, it's okay. All right, so my DJI drone did not like that log right there. It kept throwing the safety collision uh, codes. But this is the entrance to Earl's Ford, where there's a bunch of really nice campsites. And the bridge right here is completely washed out. Um, got debris stuck under the bridge. And the opposite side of the bridge has about a two to three foot just drop off right there. I'm sure if it was an emergency or something like that, you can get a Jeep over it. But obviously, the road's going to be closed for some time. And the bridge is probably going to have to be redone. And unfortunately, I had to update the software um, to the drone. So it wouldn't allow me to fly further than 50 feet. So this is as far as I got. And you can tell the road is washed out further up right here. And I can't imagine further up. I would like to eventually get back out there uh, with the drone software up to date where it allow me to fly and actually, you know, fly that road for a little bit and get some better footage for you. But what a devastating effect um, on this area. And as you can see, the actual water line was above the bridge. So you can see there on the left how it's all flattened out over there with the vegetation. Um, the water got really, really high over here. And as we come back across, you can see how undercut it is where the bridge um, meets the road right there. It's undercut back under the road a little bit. 
And as you can see to the right right here, you can see how the grass is pushed down by the water. So definitely some extreme high water right there. And hopefully whoever was in this car wasn't hurt or injured with that tree falling on it. Because you can see by the back tire there, um, the, uh, the suspension is completely bottomed out. And the back of the car is literally touching it. The car is most likely totaled especially being a hybrid car and that back glass shattered, all the water is going to get in there where the electronics sit. Well, we're at the Tate Bridge campground and everything's still closed up. They got rid of the cash drop boxes. It's now going to be scan and pay online, which I don't have cell phone service out here, so I don't know how that's going to work whenever they, whenever they do that. But yeah, it's going to be all online now. Missing person. Fifteen dollars per night. There are a couple people over there parked at the uh, river crossing at the entrance to Charlie's Creek. Yeah, they closed the campgrounds. Which that's understandable. You don't want people here with that windstorm and all these trees everywhere coming down. It's an easy way to get stuck. But uh, let's go see if Charlie's Creek is doable. Come out there. Oh. But this is one of my favorite camping areas. We camped over there the first time James and I came up here doing the Georgia Traverse. Must have been four or five years ago. Since then, I've come back down here almost every year. It's so quiet and peaceful right now. Let's go check out Sandy Bottoms and then we'll double back to, her, to uh, Charlie's Creek. All right, we're at uh, Sandy Bottoms, which is my absolute favorite camping area. And it's closed as well, gated to the campsite. So, 
Let's go, uh, let's go run Charlie's Creek, I guess. Let's go check that out. I don't know how well you can see that, but the leaves are already changing colors. We got yellows and reds showing through. Yeah. Has anyone came has anyone came through yet this morning? I haven't seen anybody go up it. We were here yesterday just to scope it out and I haven't seen anybody go either way. Um give us just two seconds and we'll move out of your way if that's right. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, sorry. You're good. That's where you want to do a senior picture of that. I wouldn't blame them. Beautiful spot. We come up here last night and looked at it and then we Come out of more and more trees that fell overnight. Oh, really? Yeah, the power company was up in here. Well, that spot's getting more fun. That spot used to be like the worst washout a couple years back before they regraded it. And hopefully I could fit under this tree. Yeah, I got it. But uh, someone's been through here already. I can see fresh tracks around a little kind of fallen log right there. So we should be okay. Um, We'll see further on where all the mud is. Guys, this new Terraflex uh, Falcon 3.3 shocks I have with the uh, um, the front bump stops, speed bumps or whatever you call them, it is night and day different than uh, the Blistine 8100s I had. Even on the softest setting, which I'm on right now, it is still significantly firmer than the 8100s um, which I kind of like you know because of the weight I think the 8100s would be perfect for a more stock vehicle but I can tell when the speed bumps are working if I hit something too hard I can kind of feel them compress and not just you know bang on the on the axle So far, really loving it. All right, looks like we got a little washout right here. It's not that bad.
All right, so right here, you have a turn off to the right if you're coming from the actual Tallulah River, uh, the campground back there. If you turn right right here, it goes, let's see, it's probably a half hour drive down to the bottom. And at the bottom, it dead ends at a creek. Back in the day, it used to go up and loop back around to Tate City. And there's an old cabin up there um, from the 1800s. There was a homestead up there. But uh, it's since uh, been uh, closed off by the Forest Service. Um, they barricaded it all. But you used to be able to cross the creek down over there and go continue up the trail and loop back around to Tulua or to Tate City. Um, but, uh, yeah. So that's it over there. And right in front of us we have a little water crossing that can be deep. It is not not that deep right now. But I have seen cars lock up in here. pavement just put it back in two-wheel drive we're not gonna air up because we're gonna go jump on the highway turn left and then turn make another left on the popcorn creek trail popcorn creek has a lot of uh, uh, mud puddles a couple of washouts that are pretty fun I don't know it's a fun trail just to loop back into Clayton um, from uh, Charlie's Creek so you can I like running it in reverse I like running Popcorn Creek all the way up hang a right onto the uh, the highway then you make another right onto uh, the back end of uh, Charlie's Creek run Charlie's Creek all the way back down to the Tulua Gorge and then after you get out of the Tulua uh, area you're gonna hang a left and go up Colma, Colma uh, what is it Coleman River Road, and then hang a left all the way up to the mountaintop and get away, which we might go check out, which is about 12 right now. We might go up to uh, the mountaintop and camp there tonight. Um, I think we're supposed to, well, let me see if I got cell phone service out there. Uh, we should have a clear night tonight, and then in the morning we'll uh, head back. As always, thanks for watching. Please show some YouTube love, like and subscribe. And I do have two more videos of the Clayton, Georgia hurricane aftermath uh, in the pipeline, ready to go out in the next uh, week and the following week. So hit that subscribe button and let that notification bell let you know next week when uh, the video will drop. Thanks for watching. Good night.